Michael Asher's Khartoum, The Ultimate Imperial Adventure, is a captivating exploration of the historical events surrounding the 1885 siege of Khartoum during the Mahdiist War. Asher skillfully weaves together a narrative that not only chronicles the military campaign but also delves into the complex web of imperial aspirations, individual heroism, and tragic outcomes that characterize this pivotal moment in history. The book immerses the reader in the chaotic and perilous atmosphere of 19th century Sudan. Asher's narrative prowess is evident from the very beginning as he paints a vivid picture of the setting and the people involved. The book opens with the charismatic British General Charles Gordon making his way to Khartoum, a city besieged by the Mahdiist forces under the leadership of the self-proclaimed Mahdi. The scene is set, and the tension is palpable as Gordon's arrival is seen as the last hope for the beleaguered city. Asher's narrative is not limited to a simple retelling of military maneuvers. He delves deep into the motivations of the key players involved. General Gordon is portrayed as a complex and enigmatic character who is driven by a unique blend of religious fervor, ego, and an unyielding sense of duty. The Mahdi, on the other hand, is depicted as a charismatic and zealous leader who believes he is on a divine mission. Asher's character analysis adds depth and dimension to the historical figures, making them come alive on the pages. The heart of the book lies in its examination of the clash of cultures and ideologies. The British Empire's ambition to maintain control over Sudan and its desire to protect its interests in Egypt are juxtaposed with the Mahdiist movement's fervent desire to establish an Islamic state. Asher navigates this clash with finesse, providing insight into the broader imperial ambitions of the era. He underscores the power dynamics, prejudices, and perceptions of the time, shedding light on the cultural and religious complexities that underpin the conflict. Moreover, Asher does not shy away from highlighting the harsh realities of colonialism. He reveals the often brutal and oppressive methods employed by the British in their efforts to maintain control. The book raises crucial questions about the ethical dimensions of imperialism, forcing the reader to confront the moral dilemmas faced by those involved. The siege of Khartoum is depicted as a grueling and protracted battle, with both sides experiencing immense suffering. Asher's detailed descriptions of the harsh living conditions, famine, and disease within the city create a visceral and grim atmosphere. The narrative becomes a testament to the endurance and resilience of the human spirit in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. The book also explores the broader geopolitical context of the era. The great powers of the time, including Britain, France, and Egypt, had a vested interest in the outcome of the conflict. Asher skillfully elucidates how international politics and rivalries influenced the course of the siege, with European powers maneuvering to protect their interests in the region. Asher's writing is both engaging and informative. He seamlessly blends primary sources, personal anecdotes, and historical analysis, making the book accessible to both scholars and general readers. His narrative style is fluid, and he maintains a brisk pace throughout, ensuring that the reader remains engrossed in the unfolding drama. The tragic denouement of the Siege of Khartoum is a testament to the futility and complexity of imperial endeavors. Asher masterfully conveys the sense of doom that looms over the city and its inhabitants as they face their inexorable fate. The book is not just a historical account but also a meditation on the human cost of imperial ambitions and the clash of civilizations. In conclusion, Khartoum, The Ultimate Imperial Adventure, is a compelling and thought-provoking literary analysis of a pivotal moment in history. Michael Asher's storytelling prowess, 
character analysis, and exploration of the broader imperial context make this book an essential read for anyone interested in the complexities of colonialism, the clash of cultures, and the enduring legacy of the 19th century imperial adventures. Asher's narrative lingers in the reader's mind, leaving a lasting impression of the triumphs and tragedies that unfolded in the deserts of Sudan.